Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, AJ Tripp. And welcome to the Top 10 John Cena Matches. I'm going to give you my list of John Cena's Top 10 Matches from 10 to 1. Some good ones on here, on here, some great ones on here. And some ones that make sense. So, let's go ahead and let's start the countdown. Number 10... Cena versus Angle, his SmackDown debut. He came out with the spiky hair and the and the the uh, you know the colored shorts and boots and everything like that. It was a look that I, I personally liked and I pers I would have loved to have seen him keep as he went on, but as he went on in his you know as his character involved, he went from the Rapper who wore jean shorts and everything like that and kept the jean shorts forever. Which, by the way, jean shorts are always in style. They're never out of style. Jean shorts are in. If you're not wearing jean shorts, you Jean shorts are basketball shorts. You can't wear pretty much anything else. Anyway, uh, he came out here and he did. You know, this was shortly after the Ruthless Aggression promo from Vince. And he came walk down and he said, Ruthless Aggression and slapped Angle in the face. And he had a very good match with Angle. Angle decided to win. And uh, he decided when Angle did win, and but he didn't decide to shake his hand. And apparently, according to the uh, to the ruthless aggression documentary, um, you know what we saw on TV was recreated. Yeah, because apparently when John Cena got backstage, the exact same thing happened. He got a, he got a lot of doubt from a lot of people, including the Undertaker. Undertaker, you know. Came back, came, came, came around and, you know, shook his hand and said, you know, good job. And uh, I, forget, I forget who they say he said it, but, um, you know, they asked if they can, you know, recreate that for, for the for the TV show. So they recreated that thing where he, he's shaking hands back on people and Undertaker, who was the champion at that time, and he was a heel at that time. <laughs> you know, he... He came. He came around and he looked at uh, John Cena and asked what his name was and said welcome and everything like that. So it was it, that was that was a special moment for John Cena and I think that's worthy of being on this list. It's uh, his uh, tenth best match. It's his SmackDown debut against the legend, Kurt Angle. Number nine, Cena versus Rock at WrestleMania 28. Several years back, John Cena mentioned something about The Rock in an interview where he talked about you know, the fact that Rock, he had left everybody to go on to Hollywood. And he was upset about it, that as some of the fans were, because he was a fan, and he was upset that Rock would leave the NRF and move on to, uh, to Hollywood. And as, you know... Little, little did he know what he, his future would be. Well, that garnered some, that garnered some heat with The Rock, and as you knew, the WWE turned a real life feud into a onto screen feud, and they they told us it was going to be once in a lifetime. But as we soon afterwards found out, it was actually a three year plan. Which, which is you know WWE they want to talk about WWE not doing long term storytelling. This was long term. Some some of the longest term storytelling of all time. He comes to wrestle, you know. He's he's announced as the as the um, he's announced as the mania uh, as the WrestleMania 27 host. And at and when, he, when and as he's announced, he's taking shots at at, uh, at John Cena. Um, they have WrestleMania 27. It's you know it's not it's well it's just you know it's a pretty awful match. Between Miz and Cena, uh, Miz at that point was, you know, he was, he was, he, well, he, yeah, again, just be honest, he wasn't that good at that time in the ring, and John Cena has never been somebody who could lift somebody up to his, you know, to you know, to his level. He can, he always comes back to the level of his opponent, but he he wrestles up and wrestles down. Uh, and Nemez at that point wasn't able to have the type of match that he was able to have. Pretty off. And then also at some point, you know, when they go over the barricade, Miz hits his head on the concrete, and he gets 
uh, concussed. So everything like that. And then The Rock comes out. He rock bottoms John Cena. The Miz uh, gets the victory over John Cena. And then afterwards, on, when the next night on Raw, they make a a they make a a uh, a match for next year's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 28. And you go through the whole year. This they, they come up to Survivor Series. He has he has a match at Survivor Series. He tag teams against the Miz and our truth And then they go all the way. And then he comes back for the Rumble. Uh, and then they you know they make their, their you know they, they make their roll down to WrestleMania 28. And and what what WWE wanted was they wanted uh, a 50 50 split. 50-50 Cena fans, 50-50 Rock fans, but that just wasn't gonna happen. This was my end. This was this was this, this was going to be Rock City, and that's what it was. And it was a fantastic match. You know, WrestleMania 28 is a big. Uh, it's a it's a big. You know, WrestleMania. It's the it's the end of an era. Hell in a Cell match between Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. It's an Undertaker to H, but Shawn Michaels is the referee. Uh, there are some other. Um, I think pretty good match. I think CM Punk and C- C- Jericho has a fantastic match. Uh, uh, he, uh, I think maybe Randy Orton has one, one match as well. So I, I, think, I think I think that's the WrestleMania. No, it's actually I think it's the next year when you got the Shield and uh, against Orton and Big Show and those. So, so that's not that's not on this show as well. But it, it's um it's it's a uh, it's okay. And it's some good stuff, and it is great. It is, um, it is oh no, no, it was fantastic. It was a great match. Um, one of those that is, you know, incredible. And um, again, you, you know, at the time, you, you know, you know, you know, I was, I was defending John Cena against some of the hatred uh, that he was getting from from fans. Um, I didn't want him to win. I wanted The Rock to win. I really did. Um, I, I almost wanted The Rock to win for John Cena's sake, but uh, he did, so that was good. And it was a fantastic, uh, fantastic match. And uh, Rock won, as as and uh, as as we know, uh, they replayed it again. They they, they read it back uh, at WrestleMania 29, which John Cena won. Well, not one of his his better matches. Um, that probably had to do with uh, the fact that um, Rock tore his his, his, his rib cage or a dome or something like that. He tore something in doing that match. Also, with the fact that they was, they were probably more or less trying to do, you know, they were trying, they were, they were trying to make it epic, than just trying to make it good. They were, they made the, 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 the first one good and turned out to be. You know, they just wanted to do the match. It turned out great. And the second one, they seemed to try to make an epic. They tried to make it an epic one. And it was just, yeah, it kind of fell flat. So, but number nine on the list of John Cena's matches. It's Cena versus Rock, once in a lifetime, WrestleMania 28. Number eight, Brock Lesnar versus John Cena, Extreme Rules 12. 2012, that should be not, just, not the 12 for Fiend Rules, but Extreme Rules 2012. Um, this is Brock Lesnar's first match back in the WWE after trying UFC, after conquering Divicure T Lightus or whatever it is. I just, <laughs> I just, uh, I just fucked that up, didn't I? Um, so yeah, right, 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 whatever he had, you know, he conquered. <laughs> he ate, eat, slept, conquered, and repeated. Um, the, the the virus uh, that he that, uh, that he uh, did so, but he came back to WWE. It was again. It was actually. It was again. We're talking about this. It was the the night after. Um, was it was it that? Yeah, it was the night after the Mark WrestleMania twenty eight WrestleMania. And after he lost, he's talking about his thing with John Cena. And all of a sudden, we get the 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 you know that familiar. Music and Brock Lesnar comes out. He comes back, tries to shake John Cena's hand. Uh, some people were shocked. Some people weren't. I know I was. I was shocked. Um, 
you know, the spec. I, I, I actually can't remember. Um, there was something going on that day. I can't, I, you know, because, because I missed it. And I can't remember. I, I don't know if I was over, over at my mom's house and we were doing something or we were out doing something. But I know that I know I know that I, I missed. I, I know I, I believe I missed pretty much that entire raw. Uh, or, or you know, I'm getting old, so I may be wrong. But I do know this. I do know that I, I you know when I did get home, I tried to rewind. I tried to rewind um, the piece so that I, I can see the end. And I, I missed the whole thing with, with, with Brock Lesnar coming out and everything like that. So I do remember that. But he came out of the F5 John Cena. They had a match for Extreme Rules at at uh, at uh, you know at, at, that that Extreme Rules. And again, I think it's it's one of those matches that is you know you know I you don't know a lot. He's still wearing that chain lock at that time, uh, and he takes that and he. You know, hits Brock Lesnar over in the head, and Brock Lesnar, you know, starts to bleed. Uh, and you know, you know, all of this is hard way. There's no blade involved, and and then Cena hits an F5 up to the stairs, and he beats, he beats, uh, he beats Dust. And everybody is shocked because on Lesnar's first match back, you beat him. You know, I mean, that's something. You know, it, it's something that if you. It, that could have lasted a long time, you know. You feud up, and the hurt. Brock Lesnar, you know, went on to do all, all great stuff, and it, it went on awesome. So, um, yeah, uh, and uh, it, was, it was really darn. It was I don't know. It was a really darn good match, despite the outcome. Uh, Chris Cena at the end cuts a promo, um, you know, and I, I don't know if the promo he's talking about it's is it because that he's he's he worked the match with blood or and he he wouldn't and he, I don't know I don't know what it is but he's talking about maybe not staying around for a while and not going anywhere or I don't know but whatever it was it was a real darn good match one of Cena's top ten matches. Number eight, to be exact, the Extreme Rules 2012 match between Brock Lesnar. Number seven, Rollins versus Cena, SummerSlam 2015. This is the SummerSlam that um, John Stewart gets involved in because he doesn't want John Cena to get his 16th World Championship. He just couldn't do it because that means so. That number means so much to him. From his childhood with Nature Boy Ric Flair and everything, so he couldn't have John Cena get his 16th championship when he got it anyway. And we'll we, we'll get more onto that in the near future. Um, but you know, and then John, and Seth Rollins wins. I think he becomes the double champion. You know, becomes the U, the United States champion because at that time John Cena was doing the universe, the U, United States uh, U.S. Open. Uh, so something that should be brought back. It's you know a lot of things. So, um, and and yes, so we we, we do a lot of things here, and um, it's a really fun matchup. You two had some really good chemistry. I, I think this also comes off of the off of the uh, off of the, the time that Safranis broke Cena's nose. You know, and around this time also, don't forget. You know, so so uh, so they have the they they have the the um on the match um uh, Rollins has this, then he has his match with Sting, and people are starting to say is Rollins hurtful? You know, is he unsafe to work with? You know, Bret Hart mentioned something around around this time. I think I think after the thing with Sting, and then a year later we had we had the you know the SummerSlam incident with. Finn Balor in his shoulder. So uh, a lot of things, you know, that <laughs> are circling around this match to make it very interesting. But the match was, I think, really, really, you know, really, really fun and really, really good. Um, again, we probably could have dealt out the John Stewart stuff. Um, reasonable that, you know, 
that that would be the reason why he would, you know, turn on John Cena for some reason. Or not even turn, but just stop John Cena from from getting being you know getting a champion. Getting getting a championship. So number seven on the list of John Cena's top ten matches. Rollins, Cena, SummerSlam, 2015. Number six, CM Punk versus John Cena from the Monday Night Raw in February 2013. This is an infamous Monday Night Raw because this is a number one contenders match. This is again the this is again this is part of the Rock Cena storyline that's lasting three years here, and we've got the you get, you know, uh, Rock has just beaten Punk for the second time. Uh, he beat him first at Royal Rumble for the championship, and he's beat him, beat him in the rematch at the, I guess at that time that would have been the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. And uh, so now um, John Cena needs to, uh, John, and John Cena won the Royal Rumble, and he wants to go to WrestleMania. However, CM Punk just thinks he has this thing he should be the, the number one contender. Anyway, he should be in the main event of WrestleMania. So they make a match. The John Cena number one contendership. John Cena versus CM Punk. And this is one of the television matches that you're ever going to see. Um, two guys laying all out on the line. And the thing is, is that I think they've said it, they've said it a few times. When they're talking about what, you know, what, what do they want to do in the match. They said, you know... CM Punk said, I really don't care. All I want to do is I want to give you a power drive. And it happened. He gave Cena a power driver. Um, now, the power driver, the regular power driver, is um, it's it's banned in WWE. It's banned in WWE. You know, you, can, you can't, you know, you can't do a power driver. And that's because of, like, the neck issues and things like that. Um... Now the Tombstone Power Driver is it's 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 grandfathered in for, for Undertaker and Kane, um, but no one's allowed to do, no one else is allowed to do a, a Tombstone Power Driver unless it's uh, unless it's with Undertaker and Kane uh, in their match. And so it's the story tell like you know uh, um, it looked like in WrestleMania 33 Roman was was going to try and do the. Easy match with the you're gonna try to do a tombstone on the Undertaker and they, they couldn't do it Undertaker couldn't get up unfortunately, um. So yeah, the power driver has was had been banned, um, but he used it and that's because at that time Punk and Cena they had the cachet to where they could do something like that and it was not going to be, you know, it was not going to be a big deal, so. Uh, so they had Cena match, the final match. Cena obviously won, and of course he was going to WrestleMania 29 to face um, The Rock in the main event for the title, as we just talked about. Also, CM Punk later on went on to face The Undertaker that year and have the what is more more than likely Undertaker's last great match uh, at WrestleMania. Um, there was WrestleMania 29. Number five. Is Cena versus the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels from the Monday Night Raw in the UK? WrestleMania 23 was Shawn Michaels versus John Cena. Although it was supposed to be John Cena in a rematch against Triple H. Triple H tore his hamstring earlier that year in the New Year's Revolution fight against uh, Rated RKO. They um, so they decided to go with Shawn Michaels, and Shawn Michaels had they had a fantastic match. Um, not that fantastic that he made this list, but it was a definitely a damn good match. Uh, uh, there, when Shawn Michaels didn't want to shake John Cena's hands, we never found out if that was a shoot or if that, if that was a shoot or if that was part of or if that was some you know story. But whatever it was, they turned that into. Uh, Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw. A few weeks later, went to the UK, and they decided to have a John a, a rematch, not for the title, but just a rematch between Cena and HBK. That 
television wise, I'm not sure live because the, the UK matches are 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 taped because you know, the time difference, tape delayed. Um, but it was almost went an hour of television time, and I, I don't I don't think that this Raw was the three it was one of the three hour Raws. I, I think that I think this was it the, the one of the two hour and Raw was back for two hours, but the match went almost an hour. It was wonderful. Some great stuff. HBK got his win back against John Cena. Did not win the title. And it is one of the most greatest things that you will ever see. Again, you talking about another great television match. Maybe one of the, the top five. That, that, that might be another list. The top ten greatest television matches. You know, you know, in, in WWE history. That that might be something to, you know, to one day, but. Uh, if, if I did, this would be on this list, without question. John Cena's fifth best match of all time is this match against the Heartbreak here, Shawn Michaels, from the Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania 23 in the UK. Number four, Lesnar, Rollins, Cena, the Triple Threat from Royal Rumble 2015. What a great epic these three had. Great story told about how they're trying to stop the unstoppable who is Brock Lesnar. You know, Lesnar is trying to get his revenge. Not Lesnar, but Cena is trying to get his revenge from the prior SummerSlam where Lesnar just destroyed Cena in the match. And, and, you know, with the 16 suplexes, unbelievable. You know, he's coming off one of the all time great, you know, fights. In history, it's, it's just it's it's fantastic, and Rollins is still the Money in the Bank holder, and who knows, you know, if you know he's he's got this title match, but who knows if he's going to after the match if he doesn't win, still cash it in. So much story here, so much fun here. Um, great match. We, this is where we start to get into the five star territory, I think, ladies and gentlemen, because this was an absolutely five star classic, or very close to it. Lesnar Rollins Cena from the Royal Rumble 2015. Number three, AJ Styles, which is John Cena, SummerSlam 2016. So, so AJ Styles makes his way into WWE. Something that you thought you would never see, or something that you wanted to see. He comes in and he is a game blister. He has a great debut in the Royal Rumble. He has a a pretty interesting feud with Chris Jericho, and and he's you know make, making making and, and he has two fantastic matches with um uh, with Roman Reigns, um you know as Roman Reigns is the heavyweight champion, two fantastic matches, um and then we go into you know John Cena comes back and he DJ Styles confronts him but turns on him. And, and they, him and, and AJ Styles and the Good Brothers, they 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 reformed the club for the you know for the first time, uh, and you know so then they have a match uh, uh, at the July pay per view, uh, which AJ Styles wins, but he wins with the help of the club. Um, he wins by DQ, he wins something like that. It's something you know that. Nobody really likes because they don't like they don't know where wrestling is. So, <laughs> so, so but AJ Styles wins and then they have a rematch at SummerSlam 2016. You know, it was AJ Styles and Johnson, and here is where everybody it, it's it's a fantastic match, truly epic, and everybody gets becomes so happy because AJ Styles gets his clean win, no help from the club. No slipping on a banana peel, anything like that. No roll up victory or anything like that. It's AJ Styles. Uh, I, I think he, I believe AJ Styles hit the Styles Clash on John Cena, which, by the way, that never should happen because John Cena's too tall for AJ Styles hitting the. And he, one of the things to break his neck, and I just, I, I, I it's. I'm, I'm glad he has stopped doing it, and uh, it is something that should not be done really. Anymore, it's at least not on someone, you know, John, John Cena's statue. It should be someone smaller. Like, I can see AJ Styles doing the style class on Leon Ross. 
you know, but it shouldn't be on anybody else. That being said, what a fantastic match. DJ Styles goes over clean. It's a five star classic, a Summer Sam classic, but it gets topped by two others. Number three on the list of John Cena's top matches AJ Styles. This is John Cena's match from SummerSlam 2016. Number two on the list of John Cena's top matches Money in the Bank 2011. CM Punk versus John Cena. Now this may be controversial. I think some people think this is the, the the art of storytelling. This is the you know truly what, what what is when it comes to like professional wrestling. CM Punk cuts a work shoot promo on John Cena on WWE or Vince McMahon and everybody else. Um, you know they know his contract is up. You know, and he's going to walk out with the WWE Championship. He mentions all of the things, New Japan, Ring of Honor, he talks about Cole Cabana. He mentions so many other things. And leading up to this match, he's, he's work shooting everything. He's talking about ice cream bars. And he's calling, you know, he's calling John the New York Yankees. You know, this John's from Boston. He's a Boston Red Sox guy. He's talking to Vince McMahon. He's, Vince McMahon is trying to get him to re-sign a contract. And he's, you know... <laughs> work shooting on him and everything like that. So, and, 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 and all this leads up to the match. It's in Chicago, CM Punk's hometown. It's obviously the main event Punk versus Cena, and it is a masterclass of, of you know, great stuff here. Um, once again, like I mentioned earlier, CM Punk seems to wrestle down to his comp not CM Punk, it's John Cena. Which seemingly wrestled down to his competition, and he also wrestled up to his as well. And he and he and wrestled up with CM Punk, kept up with him every step of the way. You know, we had the part where John, where uh, where, where uh, John Laurinaitis and 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 Vince McMahon is coming down the the, the ring to you know to screw. CM Punk, but no, no, no. John Cena says that's not going to happen. Gets to the ring, he gets kneed into the face, and it's a one, two, three victory for CM Punk. You know, Vince calls down our brother over the Rio to cash in. CM Punk foils him, and that 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 image of CM Punk getting getting into his hometown, his crowd in Chicago, blowing the kiss to Vince McMahon with the WWE Championship. Uh, and he's run, and he, he, he runs up the stairs and out the building, out of Allstate Arena, I'm sure into a car that Cole Cabana had, and they were gone. <laughs> so, um, great match. This is truly awesome. The story around it was incredible. Um, and, and, and just a lot of stuff. So, um, so, and some people say, and some people say that this was the, you know, some people will say, "How can how can you not get have this match number one?" Well, I'll talk about that when I tell you what the number one match is. The number two on this list, the John Cena's top matches: CM Punk, John Cena, Money in the Bank 2011. And number one, John Cena's best ever match is him and AJ Styles. From the Royal Rumble 2017. And like I mentioned in, when I talked about Money in the Bank match, some people might say, why isn't that number one? Why, you know, why is someone else number one? This match is number one for a myriad of reasons. First off, we're talking about AJ Styles, the WWE champion, going, going against John Cena, looking for his 16th championship, tying Ric Flair the most all-time championships. We're talking about a match in which John Cena and AJ Styles never left the ring. They didn't go outside to the floor. They didn't They didn't fight up the aisle. They didn't do it using an announce taper. They did not leave that 20 by 20 ring area. All the thing they, they did was from that ring. There was drama. There was action. There was, there were, you know, 
it was just I, I can't speak on it. You have, if, if if you watch that match and and, and 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 you don't come away blown away from it, and and I I know some people that didn't. I watched. <laughs> so someone was doing a live stream on YouTube, and I was and I was watching them along with watching the thing, and they. They were upset. They they are major John Cena haters, and they couldn't even get past their hatred of John Cena to realize what a fantastic match that was. A five star classic, and it was and it is total bullshit that they can see that. And if you can't see what that is, how great that match that was, how spectacular that was, everything about it was perfect, absolutely perfect. Could there have been some changes? Yeah, but I, I you know, and it, it would have, it, yes, it would have made it even more perfect. Yes, of course. You know, some things that you know, but it's, it's part of this new era of wrestling, where you, you know, you you kick out of a couple finishes before you you actually make a a thing, or you you do this or you do that, whatever. It was awesome, and for me, it is without question. John Cena is best match of all time and I think it without question AJ Styles best match of all time and AJ Styles you can say is a lot better wrestler than John Cena and he said he said a lot more better matches than John Cena doing an AJ Styles top 10 match would be <laughs> it, 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 it wouldn't make sense to do but I would think and I and I haven't seen all of them like like I damn near seen all of Cena's but I, I would say that I'm going to go on a limb saying that this match is will be on top of both AJ Styles and John Cena's list. And here we are. Number one in the top ten John Cena matches is from the Royal Rumble 2017. A must-see, must-watch, all-time classic. John Cena versus AJ Styles. So there you have it, guys. The top 10 John Cena matches of all time. Post your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know what is your favorite John Cena match of all time. Do you agree with my list? What, what is your top 10? Please, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure you go to patreon.com slash to become a patron. Once I have a certain amount of patrons, I'm going to open it up so that you can let me know what you would like to see me do here on my YouTube channel? What video games do you like for me to play on Twitch? Twitch.tv slash A Triple Twenty. And what you like for me to talk about on my podcast. Links all down in the description below. Make sure you follow me on all socials. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy AJ Trip signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. Have a happy holidays. And I am out.